I'm gonna ease you into this video because <laughs> I think I think you're gonna be overwhelmed. Hi, I have a pixie cut. <laughs> oh my god! Stella has a pixie cut. Oh my god! Hi, and welcome to today's video where I am going to be showing you how to go from. Uh, kind of chin length hair to this gorgeous silvery pixie cut at home. I'm actually mind blown. I'm actually mind blown at how much I like this cut. I wanted to go much shorter because I still had like a lot of like damaged bits and everything. So I'm like, why not go ahead and see if I can give myself a DIY pixie cut and while we're at it, change our hair color because uh, it was boring. So yeah, let's get straight into the video. Uh, just kidding. <laughs> okay, this is a wig before anyone decides to freak out. I do not actually cut my hair into a pixie cut, nor did I bleach my hair. I still have all my hair tucked underneath here. However, I really wanted to see what I would look like with a really cute light pixie because it has been a dream haircut of mine for a really long time. However, I did not have the guts to go for it myself. So I did it with my previous perfect lace wig and uh, if you want to see exactly how i did it and how i got this style then keep on watching the video oh, babe. hi babe what the f that? <laughs> i cut my hair it has to be a wig. <laughs> do not like it no, it's a wig. <laughs> it is a wig. Okay, so I have this wig that I recently used in my how to style short fine hair videos. It's still got the authentic braid, which I really like. I remember it fit very, very nice and snug, and it was one of my favorite wigs. However, it is quite fine. I like the length, but I don't like it enough to keep it. So I am thinking of converting this lovely wig into a short blonde pixie. Recently I've been toying with the idea of cutting um, a pixie on myself. I'm not too sold on the idea of like cutting all of my hair off, especially because I literally just did that. I'm even less sold on the idea of doing so and then immediately bleaching it. If I'm gonna cut it off all my bleached ends, I'd rather not like go through and bleach it again. So I don't think I'm actually gonna commit and do it on myself, on my own hair. Hence where this wig is going to come in. I am going to try to cut this wig into my dream pixie bob and then also try to fool literally everyone into thinking that I literally cut a pixie on myself because I think that's a very fun, fun, fun thing. Judging by the beginning of this video, it's either going to be a success or not, depending on whether you are fooled. I have faith in myself, but at the same time, I also know I'm not the best at cutting. First thing that I think I'm going to start by doing is just wetting this whole wig. I'm obviously going to have to cut it and I'm going to cut it on wet hair. So I'm just going to go ahead and literally just dunk this, and get rid of whatever this is, and just basically make it malleable and ready to start this weird crazy experiment <sighs> I need to align it and make it basically fit as if it were on my own head so these things need to be basically at the same level I'm gonna use this as my guiding line as to where like my nose would be or like the center of my face so everything else has to be symmetrical to that this is my base wig this is let's say how it would look on my head. One of the things that I know that I want in this wig is a side parting, specifically one from this side going that way. So I need to kind of figure that out now because anything on this side is obviously going to be longer. I kind of like it, yeah, sure. Now that I got my main kind of side part, I'm also going to separate it on this side just so that I kind of figure out where the longest bits are going to be and then figure it out that way. Now the tricky part is going to be because this is all wefted, which means this is not going to behave like normal hair. It's going to behave like hair sewn in horizontal wet. So I'm gonna give it my best shot if it turns out badly gonna make a funny video so let's 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 just try it out it's 
is such a hard thing to cut. Oh my god, why are we so annoying? I must look like the worst hair cutter in the world. Which I am, but still. <laughs> this looks so bad, but the thing is I can't even get it. So, as in, I can't even comb it out the way that I want to. So I can't even get any. I'm really hoping by styling it, it's going to look somewhat decent, but otherwise this is looking tremendous. I'm not really gonna fuss anymore because I have a feeling I'm not gonna get it anywhere near perfect. So let's, let's just move on to the next section. <laughs> to look like I'm growing out a bus cut. Oh my god, this is horrendous. Oh no. <laughs> this is possibly the most haphazardly cut haircut ever. <laughs> ever, ever. the best we're gonna get, you know? It looks really, really rough from the back and you also have to kind of imagine that this is all gonna be like that, so. I don't know, I'm gonna leave it like that and then just focus on the top part now, which is the next challenge. I have absolutely no idea what I'm gonna do with this. The rest of the haircut isn't really going how I would envisioned. I didn't really. I mean, it doesn't look bad, especially now that I'm looking at it like this, which kind of makes me feel like I should leave this considerable bit longer. Let's try to figure something out uh, with this. So here we've got a very much of the, uh, quite frankly, kind of like a Karen haircut, which I'm not really after. I don't know, I don't know what to do. I think I'm gonna give it a very, very rough try on now, just to see if there's anything that I can work with before I proceed to either cut more or just go ahead and dye it. This to work, I can't even leave my hair um, how I normally put it because I need the bulk of my hair basically to be up here instead of down at the bottom. Sexy. Oh my god, no. I have very little faith in this looking good. First time, like maybe if I color it and actually style it, it might look good, but... Mm. <gasps> Oh my god! <laughs> okay, um, I look like a boy. I'm gonna try to start kind of customizing it to my own head and trying to make it work shorter so that it kind of fits a bit like more snug. The only good thing that probably came out is coming out of this is that theoretically it does look like I cut it on myself. Like it's not a particularly good haircut. So in that sense, I probably will be convincing enough to tell people that I uh, cut it myself. It's a bit bulky over here, but again, this is just like a trial one. I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and get on with the hair dyeing and figure that part out because that's going to be another massive headache because now that it's so small, it's like short, it's particularly harder to dye. Figure out the rest of this. I'm actually going to go in with a very quick toning. This is kind of like a golden color. Hopefully this is going to take out a bit of that silver and give me more of that just general white or warm white vibe. Now I'm gonna leave it for 
I don't know, five, ten minutes. I can see it turning a bit pink, which is weird. Um, and then I'm going to rinse it off. And then hopefully I'll be left with a super sexy short haircut. So here we are the next day. This is what I am currently left with. So I've just very quickly blow dried it, gave it kind of a style. I'm still really not sure how I feel about it. Um, it looks very boyish. It's... I. I still think it's the best I could have gotten on the wig, but you know, I guess we'll see as it's on. It's not as gray, I think it's got like a hint more something, I don't know, but we're leaving it and then we're gonna see. We're gonna see if it's gonna work at all. I actually freaking like it. I mean, it still looks very... No, actually, never mind. I like it. I actually genuinely like it. It's actually such a nice haircut. It took me so freaking long though to style it and make it actually look decent because the hair on the wig was made so that it sits in a kind of way and when it's short hair, it can tend to be a bit... And however, with a lot of gels and a lot of sprays, I actually managed to make it kind of sit in a way that I like it. <gasps> okay, so now I'm gonna very quickly do my makeup, hopefully give myself a very foxy look and actually make myself look a bit older because at the moment I'm still looking mildly prepubescent boy. Hopefully I can finish up this video <laughs> and also convince people that I cut my hair into a pixie cut. Ish. It does look super homemade. <laughs> That's it. That's the entire video. This turned out so much better than than I thought. I mean, it turned out kind of how I hoped. But then as I was actually doing it, I was like, this is turning out worse and worse. And I really don't know if I can actually save it. But wow, did I... I think I saved it. I think so. I actually genuinely really liked the, the haircut and the entire style of it. What the hell? So this is how I am looking at the moment. I'm no longer looking like a prepubescent little boy. <laughs> um, it's, I think, in my opinion, like a very simple, elegant hairstyle. Would I actually ever go for this haircut? Now that I've kind of fiddled with it, I can say this much, I think from experience. Um, hair this short can be very, very stubborn and can have a mind of its own. This thing is only sitting so nicely because it has like a ton of products in it. Would I necessarily want to go for that where I constantly have to like make it look nice and make it sit and everything? I don't know. I don't know if I personally have to like mental <laughs> capability of doing that every single morning, but I do really like it. I do think it has a very, very chic vibe to it. If you want to go for it, go for it. I don't really recommend doing it on a wig because wigs are a pain to cut so short. But if you do happen to have a wig this short, it gives you a good idea as to whether you'd look good with it or not. That's it. That's the entire video. Um, I'm gonna link the original wig down below as well as any products that I used on my face and on my hair. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you'll give it a go and I will see you in my next video.